Good morning, everybody. It is Friday, October 14th. I am going to return <laughs> that nail polish. And then I have to go to the bank. And then I have to go home and I have to pack up my car. Oh. So I still have, like, my toiletries, like, makeup and stuff to pack. But all my clothes are packed. They were packed yesterday. And I have to pack up all the food that I'm bringing. Which isn't, like, a lot of food. It's just, like, snacks and stuff. Um, and stuff for breakfast. And, and then I will be on my way. Oh, my gosh. Are you guys so excited? I'm so excited. Well, I hope I can return this nail polish. Like I said, I really think that I can. Um, I think the only disappointing part is that I probably won't get a replacement for it if this is in fact a mistake that it came out this color, but that's it. Um, yes, yeah, so I leave in two hours and it's only a couple hour drive. Um, it's like two hours and 15 minutes or 14 minutes or something. So. That'll be good, it's a nice easy drive. Um, and it's actually kind of a pretty drive the way that it's taking me. So there's three, two options, three options, three different, I'm sure there's a million different ways I can go, but one of them is shorter, but the longer, it's only shorter by like a couple of minutes. And the longer one is um, most fuel efficient, but also it's actually like a nicer drive. So I think I'm gonna do that one. And that's it, I guess. That's all I have to say. Okay, so I was able to return it. I mean, here's the thing. It's, it's not that I thought that I wouldn't be able to return it. I knew I would. Um, I just didn't, I wasn't, didn't have high hopes about like getting it resolved. Like what, are, I mean, what are they gonna do to it? It's not like I thought that they should do something about it, but on the off chance it really was actually mislabeled and they had another one and but I knew all those things wouldn't happen. And here's the thing. And then I'll stop talking about it because I know you guys are like really sick of me talking about my nail polish. <laughs> but when I returned it, I only paid like $3 and something cents, like $3.45 or something, which I knew I had. So I'm not like complaining about not getting enough back because that's not what I'm saying. That is so like, they're normally $10. I got it for so cheap. Like honestly, if it wasn't a color that I already had, like I would have totally kept it because it's like such a good price and it's not a bad color. But alas, I have the same thing. I don't need to spend $3.45 on something that I already have. And she was nice. She was like, oh, we have some other ones if you want to check the colors. And I got excited because I didn't think that. And then she like showed me like regular nail polish. And I'm like, no, I, I know. I, I probably have a regular nail polish at home that's this color. I wanted a gel nail polish, but thanks anyway I mean she did her job of trying to like convert me to a sale so I don't blame her but also I she got my hopes up and then I was like what I no I already have one this color and she's like I'm sure there's one in like SE or OPI I'm like yeah I know I probably have it like I wanted a debt whatever okay I promise I'd be done talking about it I'm done talking about it I tried to be a good mommy and take Lizzie for a walk before I left her. And she walked like two seconds down the road, went potty and turned around to go back home. She's so weird lately. I'm going to Rhinebeck. I just left. Um, I have two hours ahead of me, two hours and a little bit. Um, yeah, so I'm hot. I'm like sweating hot because <laughs> it's actually not that hot. It's only 61 degrees, but it's like it poured last night and rained this morning. And so it, I think it's just like the humidity and I've just been like running around. And um, I just really hope, yeah, I really hope I didn't forget anything. I'm bringing way too much stuff for like two nights. Um, but that's what's happening. I'm bringing a lot of stuff apparently. So that's it, I guess. I'm just gonna put on a podcast and, and drive. See you soon.
This is the best bagel you've ever had. Yes, it's the best bagel okay. you've ever had. And now that you've had all the stuff in it, do you think we should have scooped the insides out? No. Sacrilege, right? That's the best part. Well, I mean, also good. It's a good combination. Thank you. Thanks for staying this long uh, through the whole, uh, I don't know, vlogging, I guess, video of Rhinebeck. Um, and now I'm going to show you what I got. So I feel like I was going to say something. What was I going to say? Hmm. <laughs> I can't remember. Anyway, um, I had a great time at Rhinebeck. I went with my friend Andrea, the cat lady, and her friend Carrie, who I had never met before, but they came in together from... Michigan. Uh, we got an Airbnb. It was the cutest cabin. It was so rustic and I don't want to say so rustic because it was, it was not like, you know, it had lights and a toilet inside and all of that stuff. Um, it was very cozy and we really enjoyed ourselves. Um, so I don't know if I want to go into like all of the things that we did or if I just want to show you what I got. Um, I mean, I, I don't know. So we got in it. I guess I'll go through kind of, I don't want it to be too long. That's the thing. So we got in, um, about two o'clock on Friday. Um, I checked in, I took the little video of the, um, 
of the cabin. And then, I'm sorry, it just kind of looks like I might be like a little bit crooked, but maybe not. Okay, so we, um, I, I kind of got settled in the cabin and then, and then um, Andrea and Carrie showed up. And we had already had plans because Andrea has never gotten the falafel at Rhinebeck. So we had already had plans. I had said that there was a store actually in downtown, downtown Rhinebeck, Rhinebeck. They have like a storefront or a brick and mortar location, I guess I should say. And I checked it out. I checked it out and they closed at 3.30. So I was like, well, if you guys get in, it's only half an hour from the cabin. If we like hurry up and drop everything and go, then we'll be able to get falafel the day before. But I did tell Andrea that I was happy to stand in line again, because I probably would want it again. I've stood in line every single time and it's completely worth it. So that's what we did. We came in, we dropped everything. We went to Rhinebeck and at falafels as we're going through the line, I can't remember who said something about getting it again tomorrow or something. And the woman behind the counter goes, we're actually not going to be there. And we're like, what? And she's like, yeah, everyone's coming in today saying something about tomorrow and we're not going to be there. And Andrea goes, I just checked on the website like yesterday and it said you were going to be there. And she goes, I know I had to contact them and tell them to take us off the website. So we got our falafel. It was amazing as always. It was so delicious. And I'm so glad that we did it because um, we wouldn't have gotten it the next day. So <laughs> we did that. We kind of drove around a little bit trying to find some drinks, some adult beverages for the evening. And we, and we settled in, we settled in, we knit and we chatted and it was so amazing. So the next day we got up, we got ready, we drove the foggy drive. It always seems to be foggy for some reason in the morning. Drove the foggy drive in um, and the weather cleared up. It got sunny. It was a little, it was warm in the sun. It was actually cold in the shade. We were freezing in the shade, which I have never experienced that big of a temperature difference from sun to shade, but it was actually amazing, amazing weather. I got a little hot and took my cardigan off, but then once we got back in the shade, um, I was able to put it back on and, and it was just, it was such a beautiful, beautiful day. Blue, clear blue skies, gorgeous. We did the podcaster meetup at one o'clock on the hill. I met my friend from Australia, Madeline. Her name is Madeline. She has a channel, Mad About You, um, and it's E-W-E, -E, so Mad About You, on on YouTube. And she has been traveling for 11 weeks. She's from Australia. She's been traveling Europe for 11 weeks and tacked uh, America onto her trip and came to Rhinebeck and we got to meet. I'm, I was so excited. We had a great time and, and yeah, so we just, we, we stayed until about four. We left. I really wasn't feeling well. I feel terrible. I had a really bad headache. I'm sure it was because I didn't eat enough. Um, but Carrie took such good care of me. She put cold washcloth on my head and I rested and it was so nice. And then we got pizza and we chatted again all night and crafted and, and it was, it was so great. I bonded so much with them, with those ladies. And it was so, so, so much fun. The next day they had to leave. So I went to Rhinebeck solo because Madeline said she would go. Uh, she was going Sunday. She also had a friend with her from Australia who had not been traveling her, with her as long, but met up with her and, um, and another friend from Chicago. So they were going to go to, they were going to go to the festival or the fiber fair, whatever, um, on Sunday and then take a train to the city and then spend a few days in the city, uh, New York city. So, I spent the morning with them. Um, I was able to help them out and drive them to the um, to the train station, which was so nice. It was so nice to get to know them as well. I feel like I bonded with them too, and and so that was fun. And then I went home. I headed home about um, I can't remember because I got home about four. I think it was like two hours and twenty minutes. So I must have left about one thirty. Yeah, I left about one thirty. Hit some traffic. Finally got home. Uh, Unpacked everything because I seemed to have lost something in my baggage. I knew I had it, but I didn't know where it was. So I had to unpack everything to find it and and settled in, settled in. We also got pizza again. I love pizza. I could eat it every day. And and I knit and quieted down. And then I and then today is Monday and I had uh the Mondayest Monday ever. If you are interested in knowing how my Monday went, go ahead and watch my vlogs. I am doing a vlogtober and I talk at length about what happened this morning.
So I'm gonna get into the purchases. We got there on Saturday and the first thing Andrea wanted to do was go to Fiber Optic Yarn because apparently they're not going to be doing any fiber anymore. They're not going to be um, dyeing any fiber. And so she wanted to get fiber. I have just recently, I've started, I, I think it was a year or two ago now at this point that I got, uh, I got an eel wheel and I'm learning loosely, learning how to spin. I haven't spun in like forever. Um, I do think that what I need to do is keep it out, like take it out and keep it out. It's the Eel Wheel Nano, so it's very small and do a little bit every day, I think is what I have to do. But anyway, I digress. This is not a podcast nor a vlog. This is a Rhinebeck haul. So Andrea pressured me into getting some fiber optic uh, fiber because they're not going to be doing it anymore. She's like, you have to, you have to. Oh, and it was on sale because they're getting rid of all of their inventory. So it was a very good price. Apparently I know nothing. And so she pressured me and I got some fiber. I'm sorry, my bag just fell. Um, so I got this one. There was Slim Pickens, even that. It was the first thing we did. We went in through the, we went in through the Red Barn and it was the first building. We got there very quickly and there really wasn't that much left. So I got this one. This is 80% uh, merino, 20% silk, four ounces, and it's dusty plum olive gradient. I'm also going to try to link down below all of the websites to all of my purchases. So, yeah, so I'm excited. I don't know how, I mean, I don't want to keep it too, too long because obviously I don't think it, I don't know, will it felt if it just hangs out? Um, so anyway, I and this is my first fiber purchase ever because... I don't spin, so all of my fiber has been donated by my sister Sarah for learning. So <laughs> that's my first fiber I've ever purchased. The next thing we did, because it was in the same building, was we went to Miss Babs. I was shocked at how few people were there. I mean, there was really nobody there. So it was busy at Miss Babs, of course, but not nearly as busy as I have seen it. And so I wasn't, I didn't have a list of things that I wanted to buy. I didn't have patterns I was shopping for. I didn't have anywhere I wanted to go. I do like Miss Babs and I think I've gotten Miss Babs every single time I've been to Rhinebeck because it is a great value and her colors are gorgeous. Um, but I didn't have a list of things. I just had some money and whatever inspired me. So I did get inspired at Miss Babs. So I ended up buying this. This is a Miss Babs Babette, which I believe does Babette I don't know what Babette refers to. Does it refer to the size? Does it refer to the color? Like, cause it says, it says repeatable, a repeatable colorway. Um, I don't know. So this is in the color apple season. The base is Katahdin. So it's fingering weight. It's hundred percent superwash BFL. I bought the Katahdin before I knit a sweater out of it, which did end up being too big. I am going to pull it out. I was thinking I have two sweaters that I need to pull out and reclaim the yarn. It's the 17th of October. I was going to try to do it for um, Vlogtober, but I'm not sure if it's going to happen. But anyway, so I have worked with this yarn before and it's really nice to work with. I really, really love the color. Um, and it was the last one. So there we go. Or the only one. I don't know. Maybe they only ever put one out. So it's 1,700 yards. It's 1,750 or 1,600 meters. And it's 439 grams. Yes, that, that sounds right. 439 grams. So I really, really love this. I also have lots of different yarn in some of these similar pink shades. So um, even if I find a pattern that needs more yarn than I bought, I'm, I'm sure I can make it work. So I, I'm really, really pleased with this. Then what did we do next? Um, I can't remember. We kind of just went all over. We did all the things. It was Carrie's first time. So uh, we went through all the barns. I had a shopping list for my sister, Sarah. So I was on the lookout for all of those things that she um, wanted me to get. And the next purchase that I, that I made was from Utopia. It's not even yarn. It's from Utopia Bath Limited. Um, if you've never heard of this brand, um, I believe it is just one person. I don't know her name, unfortunately, but I really love her stuff. I, I believe the first time I ever met her was at a New England Sheep and Wool, I think. And that may be the only time that I ever got anything in person. I think the next time I got something, I ordered it, maybe. I really love her stuff. I follow her on Instagram. Um, I love her 
um, aesthetic. I love her fragrances. I love the way her products feel. So I replaced my, um, I ran out of the best hand cream ever. And I will tell you, that's not a marketing scam. <laughs> it is the best hand cream ever. It is so um, creamy and wonderful, not greasy. I just love it so much. She had a many wonderful scents there, but I ended up getting the orange and clove. Um, I think I was just in the fall mood. Oh, it smells so good. It's like so spicy, but not too spicy. It was just, oh, it's so, so good. I then also got um, this Satin Lux Moisturizing Dry Body Oil, and I got this in the Toasted Coconut and Sandalwood um, flavor, <laughs> fragrance. Uh, I've never used a dry body oil before, but I really wanted to. I thought it would be a great opportunity to get it from a maker that I love. And so I, I tried it this morning. Um, I'm not really sure if I'm using it right. It just, she said that she often in the winter time sprays it on and then puts lotion over it even. And then in the summertime uses it just by itself. So I can't, I can't figure out if I'm applying too much or too little. I'm still working, working on it, but I, I love it. And I love the smell. It says as an added benefit after applying to damp skin, you can also apply to the ends of your hair to prevent frizz and add moisture. I should have done that this morning. I was rushing so bad this morning. I was running late for an appointment. I took a shower. I, I just misgaged how long it would take me. I think I just got started too late because I thought I needed less time. Um, I forgot how time works, I think. And so I thought, I don't know. I wasn't, I wasn't mathing correctly at the time, but anyway, that's neither here nor there, but I totally should have used it this morning because I air dried my hair this morning, which um, looks fine. I don't have a problem with it at all, but I don't, I don't have any products to put in it. I know this is a Ryan Beck haul. I'm sorry. I don't have any products to put in it for like air drying. Like I don't have any kind of like a styling cream or like a, I mean, I, yeah, I don't have a mousse. I don't have a uh, gel or anything. All I have is um, stuff for blow drying, like blow dry cream, which I'm sure I could put in there, but I think it's meant it's a heat protectant. And I also have a volume, you know, a volume spray for when I blow dry. So maybe this will work is where I'm going with that. I wonder if I have to put it on wet. Maybe I could just put it on right now. It says after applying to damp skin, you can also apply to the ends of your hair to prevent frizz and add moisture. Maybe I could apply it now. Um, and I forgot to put it on my damp skin when I got out of the shower. So I, I did put it on, but I guess I forgot my skin should be damp. Um, that's all I bought yesterday um, or Saturday. Sorry. That's all I bought Saturday. I, oh, that's not true. I bought maple um, cotton candy. I forgot the word. Maple cotton candy. I also bought food. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's it. Okay. So then Sunday, I showed up and the ladies had uh, a list of things that they had to do that they wanted to go back to. They had, they were ready. They had a plan, which was great because I was just long for the ride. I didn't have to go Sunday. I didn't have anything I really wanted to go back to. So it was fun to just like have them know exactly what they wanted to do and where they wanted to go. So I ended up going to, um, Oh, now I can't think of the name of it. Thread and Maple. I think it's Thread and Maple. I put it down below and I got this. It says Scrumptious Pearl. So I don't know if that's, yes, yeah, scrumptiouspearl.com. So Thread and Maple must be a vendor for them because this is not Thread and Maple yarn. I don't, I don't really know Thread and Maple. I thought it was Australian, I thought is what Madeline said, but I could be wrong. But anyway, this is a jawbreaker, I think. Is this what they call jawbreaker? Um, so this is a fingering weight yarn for socks. It's 400 yards to hundred grams. It is superwash merino and Stellina. So 86, six, oh, I'm sorry, 84, 16, 84, 16, um, superwash merino and Stellina. And this is in the, we are family colorway. I'm very excited about it. Um, and then just walked around a little bit. Oh, well, I, I'll go over what I bought for Sarah, but I bought her stuff the day before. Um, and 
and that's it. That's it. That's all I got. I actually got more. I got another bag <laughs> because Madeline was getting uh, maple cotton candy. She had never gotten it before. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get another bag. I really cannot remember for the life of me, the company that that is. Um, and there I also got a uh, gingerbread <laughs> maple syrup. It's not flavored gingerbread. It's just in a gingerbread man. It looks very light. I didn't realize maple syrup was this light. It must just be, um, maybe it's just lighter maple syrup, but I got that for my sister, Sarah. Um, she didn't ask me to, it was a gift. Um, I, if I can remember the name of the, of the store, I will put it down below because they did say they ship. They ship all over and they ship every day is what he said. That's all I got. That's it. Oh, and um, Saturday, I did get a gift from Madeline um, when I met her on the hill. She said she got me something. I was completely taken aback. I couldn't believe it. Well, she brought me something from Australia. And I was shocked. I was like, what? That's so nice. I can't believe you did that. So it's from an Australian dyer um, called Stitch Craft A Wizardry. And apparently they do all kinds of just like Harry Potter and she might've said Lord of the Rings or, um, I can't remember what else she said, but then she also said Willy Wonka. And so this is, um, birthday fun at the Wonka's is the name of the colorway. And it's on the house elf Liberty base, 85% superwash Merino and 20, I'm sorry, and 15% nylon. It's a four ply fingering weight. So 400 meters for 100 grams. So that was so nice. Thank you so much, Madeline. I just love it, love it, love it so, so much. And Carrie tried to steal it from me several times. <laughs> and I don't blame her. It's so great. <clears throat> so that's it. That's all I got. It's a very, very meager haul, but I had a great time. I really was just kind of going for the experience. It had been two years. I went in 2019 and then um, 2020 was canceled and I did not go back for 2021. Um, and also what I said about Miss Babs and it being really dead, I did my shopping there. I got in line, which was very short. I paid. And when I was leaving to go back through the barn, it was a madhouse. It was so busy. I talked to someone that I had met through the podcast. She's a viewer. Uh, Linda and she said that last year they only let in like half the people I think they only like sold half the tickets and then this year she said they let in twice as many <laughs> so I thought that was funny um Sunday was much more dead there was like hardly anybody there it was actually really nice to breathe a little bit I also forgot to say that on Sunday I went to a little talk by uh the makers or um inventors, creators of Pom Pom Magazine. Um, and that was very cool. My uh, my friends wanted to go and so I sat with them. It was only half an hour and it was really nice. So, so it was very cool. Um, so my sister had on her shopping list, she gave me money and she said, get me cones um, of yarn. You know what I like and get me some buttons if you, oh, and then she had wanted me to get this lotion stick, but they weren't there. The vendor wasn't there this year, so I couldn't get it. And then she said, if you go to the button place, get me buttons, you know what I like. And I was like, that is way too, <laughs> that's way too broad. And that's having way too much confidence in me. I was so terrified. So we looked everywhere for cones from the minute we got there to the minute we left. We asked everyone, we looked everywhere. We saw some cones, but they were like thread or like these weird fabric strips. And I'm like, that's definitely not what she wants. We, I had no idea where to find these cones. And so then when the, when the, um, lotion place wasn't there. I was like, what am I going to do? I can't find a cone. The lotion place isn't here. We ended up going to the button place. The button place was absolutely insane in the membrane. It was so crazy busy. People clamoring all over each other. It was so wild. Um, I happened to get buttons, but <laughs> so I picked these out for her. I've already sent her pictures. So she already knows what I got her. I got her these and I got her these uh, and I hope for the best. <laughs> so they have buttons from all over. They have buttons from like the 1800s. They have buttons that are really expensive. They have so many buttons. Um, then as we're walking out, I was so disappointed I didn't find any cones. 
and there's like a tent right before, right after the buildings, if you know where I'm talking about when you come through the red barn. And we look in, it's like kind of a little more rustic yarn. And we look in and Andrea's like, oh, maybe they have cones in there. And I'm like, I don't see any, I don't see any. Um, but then towards the back on these like end cap things, they had something hanging. And I was like, oh, I think they have cones. So I ran in and I was like, oh my gosh, they do. And they had all these cones. And then this pressure of, you know what I like came to mind. And I was like, oh no, I don't know what to get. So last time we went in 2019 my sister and I both got cones we did not get them from this place um and I got we I think we actually got technically the same color but mine was more brown and hers was more, more gray so we actually each made a sweater out of our cones and then swapped so I have a gray one which I haven't used yet and she has my brown one and so I was like well I don't want to get her another brown or gray one like I know she likes natural but they didn't have any cream um, so I'm like, what am I going to do? They had a really nice light blue. They had a dark blue. I was like, I don't know. I don't know. So then I found this yellow one. I asked Andrea and Carrie. They said they really liked it. So I found this yellow one. So as I'm walking up to the register, I'm like right at the register. And Andrea goes, oh no, is that broken? And I'm like, oh, it looks like it is. What, what the heck? And the guy goes, oh, and let me see. And so he looks at it and he goes, yeah, sometimes. Well, first he goes, let me see if I have another one in the back. So he goes around the side of the tent <laughs> and he goes, no, I don't have another one. He goes, I can't see how far deep, like I, I can't see how deep this goes. So I can give it to you for $10. I think they were like $64. And I'm like, okay, um, well, I'll take it. And then I'm going to go back and look for another color too. So like, but I'll take this one. So I took this one and when I went back, I was still waffling about the blue. And then I saw this one. This was the only color they had. And I know I go, oh, I think she would like that. And so I got this one as well. Full price. <laughs> so this is Brattle, I'm sorry, Bartlett Yarns Ink and Sport Weight. I don't know how much it is. I think it was like 1700. It might've been 1700 yards. I can't remember now. I think it was 1700 or 1600. Anyway, this is Blackberry and this is Gold Heather. And um and that's that. So, I'll link it below. While I was there, I also got a cat toy, <laughs> which I have not given him yet because I a forgot about it and B then I found it and I was like, "Oh, I will have to talk about it on the haul." Um so that's what I got. And that's it. That's all she wrote, folks. That's all I got. Um, I had I had a great time. Um, I had so much fun with my friends. And it was fun meeting new people. I saw some old friends. I saw some new friends. And, and I can't wait till next year already. Um... And that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you watch my vlogs. If you don't, that's fine too. And, and I have a regular podcast. I do, I'm going to try to do once a month and I'm also going to try to do my other segment called Knit Chat Chow. I hope to maybe do one this month. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.